told him, Emily, that she looks like a cephalopagus. So it's OK to body shame? I am tired of being everyone's whipping boy. Remember what Heather told us about Shannon and John? But she's like, everything's perfect. She's like, we all know like... Wow. Welcome back. That was a clip from this season of The Real Housewives of Orange County. And our next guest, who's a star on the show, made national headlines over the summer after admitting that she takes Ozempic. That's the prescribed medication for people with type 2 diabetes. Attorney and reality star Emily Simpson has been on the franchise for five seasons now. Fans love her. After filming opening scenes for this season of the show, Emily says she couldn't even recognize herself. But Emily is now shutting down the shame and embracing this new phase of her life. And to talk about it, please welcome to the TAM fam, Emily Simpson. Come on out, Emily. You're here. I'm oh. so excited to be here. I mean, listen, and you dressed in theme I and tried. everything. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna get right to this okay. because obviously there are there are always dramatic storylines and there's always right. a lot of drama. We have a show coming up uh, next week on what we're calling the quote unquote the summer of skinny. Okay. And what we mean by that is everywhere on social media in headlines, people were pointing the finger as soon as someone lost weight, saying, "Are you on it? Are right. they on it?" Right. And I, I know. You, so, okay, so take me back. You took the pictures yeah. for the season. Right. And a producer showed you the photos. Well, so we filmed for four months, yeah. and then in November, we did the promo shots, which that's where the title cards, you know, where yeah. you hold the orange. And the producer, um, or, you know, our showrunner, took photos with his iPhone, and he texted them to me, and I, I, I looked at it, and I honestly, I just couldn't even recognize myself. I had gained a lot of weight during filming. Yeah. And by the time it rolled around till the end of the season and he sent me those, I, it really, it made me sad. Really sad. Yeah. Now, I, I, as I understand, you also though learned about a medical condition around the same time. Well, I also, I didn't feel well yeah. at that time. I was really depressed. I wasn't working out. I wasn't, I didn't have any energy. So I went to the doctor and I did a full blood panel and the doctor was like, well, you're pre-diabetic, your cholesterol is high, you don't have any testosterone. There were a lot of issues. And so the doctor said, there's this new drug, it's FDA approved. I didn't even know what it was called at the time because during that time it wasn't a thing. Yeah, yet. it was just a, a secret celebrity thing that yeah, was happening. Yeah, I didn't know about it. Yeah. And so I didn't know there was a stigma or there was yeah. any controversy around it. And the doctor said, there's this new drug. It's just recently been FDA approved. It will really help with weight loss. You should try it. And so um, I was prescribed, I, I don't even know if it was Ozempic. Okay. Because it was back in- what? Because there are many drugs under that yeah. category. Of a semaglutide. Uh, yeah, exactly. Right. So, um, so you were prescribed for prescribed. your pre-diabetes, but then right. you started to lose weight. Right, a little. A little. And I only, I used that prescription. It, it comes in like one little yeah, vial. Yeah, I've seen it, yeah. Yeah, and I started with the low dose, 0.25 weekly. Did you get any of the symptoms? Because some people say that they have I did. nausea. And that's, and that's what really helped because I, I think I was very a chronic, mindless eater. Okay. Where I just didn't pay attention to what I was eating. I would eat my kids' mac and cheese, a couple chicken yeah. nuggets here and there, a taco here. Uh, you were on a, yeah, it, it's ca those calories that we don't know we're taking right. in every day. Right, and then it would day. be the end of the night, and I would tell my husband I didn't eat all day. Right. Because you're, you're, it's called mindless eating. Right. It's not, so around that same time, or a few months later, you decided in January to undergo cosmetic surgery. Yes, so I had liposuction in my arms. Liposuction in your arms? In my arms. Why specifically your arms? You know, my arms have always bothered me. I've always been tall and had broad shoulders and I've always carried weight in my arms yeah. and upper body and chest. And I just was so tired of not being able to fit my arms in blazers. Like I've literally gotten stuck in dressing rooms before where I tried on a blazer and couldn't get out of it. And had You're to, like, so animated. <laughs> I know. And I just, I was tired of feeling that way. I, I understand. Really... And listen, I tell people all the time, this is not a show we judge anybody for anything. Yeah. It is your body. Do what you want to do with your body, yeah. and that's how I feel yeah. about it. And yeah. I and that's, that's and, I, and I really mean that. Yeah. But soon after, you showed a slim down picture of you with your twins, Luke and Keller. Your, yeah. your, um, people yeah. started to comment on this picture. Yeah. Why you were the one person who represented a real woman is what somebody wrote. I was so confident you wouldn't buy into the Ozempic cult. Another person wrote, and then another said. 
You should be ashamed of using a drug that real diabetics need. That one stuck with me because I don't like when people throw around the word shame and what someone should be ashamed mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. and not knowing your story. Yeah. And you know, also the real woman comment yeah. bothered me too. Like I'm not a real woman now. I'm the same person, same you know, wife, yeah. mother to this, my children. I didn't change my personality. Did you, did you expect that you would get this like, because I, I see, I've seen other uh, stars of the franchise have to now come out and people have to come out and say, no, I'm not on it. Or lie and say, no, I'm not on it. <laughs> no, I'm not on but, it. <laughs> but there's like a, there's a policing of it, right? There is. And I, you know, I really don't understand the backlash. I feel as if women have been trying to do things probably for centuries to be in shape, to lose weight. I mean, in the 90s, it was course, Everyone's thin, looking for the magic Everybody drug. wants, yeah. right, everybody's trying to be thinner or fit yeah. or have more energy or be healthier. And then when something works, then they get mad about it. It's a fascinating conversation. Yeah. Um, but, but separate and apart from that, I know you're an amazing mom. Thank you. Um, and you do your very best to represent who you are in an authentic mm -hmm. space. How does it feel to be back in the throes of TV and reality TV for a new season. Um, it, you know, it's great. It's been a great season. I think everybody's responded really well yeah. to it. And so I'm happy, you know, to be a part of it. Well, so. you look gorgeous on Thank there. You. you look gorgeous now. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. Keep it going. Italy, the Real Housewives of Orange County, the whole game. Wednesdays on Bravo. And episodes are available to stream the next day on Peacock.